Hey guys, it's iTech every week. Got some great news. Um, actually, in my last video, I announced that Untethered Jailbreak was released. And in this video, I'm showing you guys how to jailbreak iOS 5.0.1 as an untethered jailbreak on your iDevice. This jailbreak has definitely been long awaited uh, by many people. Uh, for those of you who do not know, this is only for the A4 devices, or it's not, it's for the, it's for the non A5 devices. So if your device can upgrade to iOS 5.0.1, um, and it's not an iPhone 4s or an iPad 2, you will be you will be able to do an untethered jailbreak on that device. Um, the device that I'm going to be using is the iPad Touch 4th generation. Uh, here it is. Actually, I already have it as a tethered jailbreak, which I'm going to be explaining. There's two different ways you can do this. Uh, if you've already got a tethered jailbreak on iOS 5.0.1, you can just load up Cydia and search uh, for Corona, and you just install Corona 5.0.1 untether uh, by the Chronic Dev team. And I do want to give Pod2G credit for this. Now, it wasn't all the Chronic Dev team. It was actually mostly Pod2G. Pod2G handed over his work to the Chronic Dev team, and they finished it up for him uh, so he could go ahead and work on the A5 devices, the jailbreak for those. Uh, but if you guys watched my last video, the version of Redstone that was released was 0.9.10 Beta 1. Now we're, uh, we're already up to Beta 3. There was a Beta 2 and a Beta 3 release now. Uh, so you're going to want to get the newest one, Beta 3, which on this post I got here on Rumbin Pie, um, it's got two. It's got the uh, the two download links right there for Mac and Windows. It actually just downloaded right here. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up. Now to upgrade to iOS 5.0.1, you just have to open up iTunes, and you can either when your, when your device is plugged in, you can either just go ahead and hit update, or you can uh, restore to an IPSW file um, by go ahead and I'll show you guys in a second here. Um, you can click on your device in the left bar over there. And then you hold Option if you're on Mac, and you hold Shift if you're on Windows. And then uh, while you're holding one of those buttons, whatever operating system you have, you click on uh, Check for Update or Update, uh, whatever it says. Um, and then it'll have you browse for your IPSW. Now the only reason you'll have to do this uh, by holding Shift or Option, the only reason you'll have to do that is if um, you rely on a carrier unlock or something like that, because upgrading to a stock IPSW file uh, can permanently upgrade your your uh, baseband. So you're gonna want to use Ponage Tool or something like that. Ponage Tool or Snowbreeze or whatever. I'm not sure what's out. I think it's Ponage Tool. Um, whatever one of those uh, programs are, it creates the IPSW for you and you restore to that, and it has Cydia built into it. Um, so that is how you'll do it, rather than using Ride Snow. That's if you rely on a carrier unlock. So I'll have a video on Ponage Tool or Snowbreeze, whatever one uh, it is. I'm not sure. I'll have a video on that uh, later on if you rely on a carrier unlock. Just make sure to not restore to a stock IPSW file if you rely on a carrier unlock because it can update your baseband. But if you don't rely on a carrier unlock, you can just go ahead and update in iTunes and use Redstone to jailbreak that rather than using Snowbreeze or Ponish tool. Uh, but I'm first going to show you guys on the the, the device. My um, I'm going to show you guys first on the uh, the iPod Touch 4 generation, just installing Corona. So we're going to do that right now. So you just search Corona in Cydia. Make sure to refresh your packages and everything. Um, you're going to click on this one by the Chronic Dev Team. Go ahead and install it, and you're going to confirm that. It's a very small file, uh, but basically it'll allow your device to reboot uh, without the need of red snow. So let's check this out. Return to Cydia, uh, and now we can just go ahead and turn it off. Let's try this. Slide the power off. And I do not have a semi-tether installed, just so you guys know. I don't have that installed. Well, this might take a little bit here, actually, so I'm going to cut some of this out. Actually, while this is uh, booting down, um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys Redstone on the computer. So here is uh, beta 10, I mean beta 3, excuse me. It's 0 0.9.10 beta 3. And what you guys are going to be doing um, in this program, you're just going to go ahead and simply plug in your iDevice um, and go ahead and click jailbreak. You don't have to go to extras and select the IPSW. You just go ahead and hit jailbreak. So. It'll bring you this screen, and I'll show you guys. You're gonna use Bright Snow if you're on a stock IPSW iOS 5.0.1. If you're on a stock one that's not jailbroken or anything, you will use Red Snow to uh, jailbreak it as an uh, as an untethered jailbreak. Uh, but like I said already, uh, if you have a tethered jailbreak on your device, go ahead and just install Corona from Cydia and the device powered down. So let's turn it right back on now and see how this works. This may take a while. Also, I'm not exactly positive. So the device did just fully boot up, and I do not have a semi-tether installed, like I said. So that's right there. Uh, it worked, and Cydia is not white. We're going to go ahead and click on Cydia and open it up. Make sure everything works correctly. So Cydia does load up. You can see I'm going to go through all the sections here. We're at the home page right now. Go to Sections, 
changes, manage, search, everything works fine. And if you go into manage, packages, Corona right there. And again, I'm going to prove you guys I don't have a semi tether installed. So, no semi tether. Uh, so that's how you do it if you have so that's how you do enter device um, Very simple if you have a tether jailbreak very simple uh, You just got to install corona now if your device is stock I'm not actually gonna jailbreak my device but I'm gonna show you guys how to do it very simply with red snow 0.9.10 beta 3 You're just gonna go ahead and I uh, like I already showed you you're just gonna plug your device um, Your device that can upgrade to iOS 5.0.1 as long as it's not an iPhone 4 or an iPad 2 this will work We're gonna go ahead and just hit jailbreak You're gonna have to enter DFE mode and to do this you just have to hold the power button and the home button together for 10 seconds and then release the power button and continue holding the home button. Now, uh, you're supposed to hold it for about, it says 10 seconds or 30 seconds, something like that, I can't remember. But just just simply, um, like I got the timer right here on my computer. Uh, it's at 35 seconds right now. So if I started at 35 seconds, I would just start holding the home and power button together for 10 seconds from 35 to 45. And now it's about to hit 45. So right when it hits 45, I just release the power button and just continue holding the home button. And when I do that, Redstone will automatically recognize your DF, DFE mode and it'll continue on to the next stage and start jailbreaking it. So just make sure you're on this page right after you, you hit back. Uh, so Okay, so right after you hit jailbreak and you're on this screen, just hold the home button and power button together for 10 seconds and then release the power button and just continue holding the home button until Redstone starts recognizing your DFE mode and it'll start jailbreaking it. And that's all you gotta do. Uh, your device will boot up and everything, and everything will work fine. You don't have to go into extras and uh, do it just boot or anything. Everything can work fine. It's untethered jailbreak. And uh, you guys can count on that. Um, again, everyone give thanks to Pi2G um, and the Chronic Dev team for finishing up this jailbreak. Pi2G, uh, again, found exploiting everything or whatever um, he did. Uh, but he handed over his the rest. He handed over all his work to the Chronic Dev team, like I said. Uh, and they finished it up. Right now, they are working on the A5 devices, the iPhone 4S, and the iPad 2. Um, again, subscribe top guys to be notified when I release my new videos. And I also have coverage on the next jailbreak that comes out for the A5 devices as an untethered jailbreak for iOS 5. Um, so I'll have coverage on that. I'll again post a video right away when it's released. And then I'll go ahead and do a tutorial to follow up after that. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope everything worked out smoothly. Um, you can like it down below. It helps me out a lot. I appreciate it. And again, subscribe to top to be notified when I release my new videos with all the coverage on iOS 5 jailbreaks and all the other tech stuff that I do videos on. Um, but that's it, guys. Hope you enjoy the rest of your night, and I'll see you in the next video.